Hi, Sagittarius. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your love, general love reading for April 2018. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. If they don't, you can check your other signs. Um, if you go to my website, moonpietarot.com, I have a birth chart calculator link on there. So if you are not sure where your moon or Venus or your other uh, planets are, are placed in what sign you can check there. And also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do it through my website there as well. You can also contact me on the Instant Go app. The information is in the description box below. Okay, so I've already pulled your cards and I'm just shuffling for a minute here uh, my clarification cards in case I need them. So let me just look and see. Okay, I think we're good here. So the bottom of the deck, Sag, you have the Five of Pentacles. So this is a card, this is a card about perhaps maybe in April, a feeling of being left out in the cold a little bit, either by someone or something. But I don't feel like you're alone in this, quite honestly, um, because you can see. Now, I feel there's, a, there's support. There's people around you who are supporting you during this time if you're going through something, okay? This is also card of, you can see a mother and child. So some of you may have a child or children uh, where it's just you and they at this time. Some of you may have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you well, okay? Um, you may need to stop thinking about this person entirely, or they haven't, or they won't be, if you're involved with this person. Um, and to just really pay attention to the fact that there's never only one person that you can be with in life and have a soul level, happy, meaningful relationship. So when love is right between people, you don't have to do backflips to make it work. Just broaden your horizons and try to think positive. Uh, positively. Okay. <laughs> You're not an unlovable troll, so don't worry about it. Okay. Um, it's just this energy that there are, there are other people who are supporting you in your endeavors and your achievements. And also if you're looking for love, if you're single, or if you're thinking about, or, or maybe realizing that someone is just, if you've been with someone, that they truly just were not supportive of you, okay? And that you may need to let this person go at this time. Your past position is the Seven of Pentacles. So I, I kind of get a sense that uh, there may have been a relationship or a connection with someone that you were involved with where you felt like things were going well, okay? Um, or if you weren't, just things were basically on, on a very general level, not too bad happening in your life, okay? Um, but you may have been dealing with someone who is suspicious of you or vice versa. Okay. So just even though maybe things were seemingly well, there may have been that energy where there was just something off. I just feel like something was off and that is still kind of bleeding into April. You know, where you're actually kind of taking that step back and seeing now, uh, I don't, you know, almost like saying to yourself, I'm not sure this person was really good for me. 
maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you may be feeling like, <clears throat> or not made a mistake, but have just come to the realization about this. Now, your present energy is the Knight of Cups. So you are in this place now where, you know, you're ready to find love again. Okay. Uh, you want to offer your cup to someone. You want that connection. You're still seeking that connection. Um, sorry, I just want to fix this blur. It drives me nuts when it does that. But it's the temperance card, which is your card, that the Sagittarius card is in the challenge position. So you want love and you, you want to make, uh, uh, you know, maybe go out and date or meet other people, but you're not quite feeling stable, maybe emotionally stable just yet. And if you're not trying to go out and date and you're with someone that you are getting a sense that this relationship is or whatever it could be, friend, family, love, spouse, whatever, that things are not quite what you thought or they're just not going that well. And you, you know, maybe you want to have that romance again in that relationship. You're, it's just like this, the energy is just that it's not quite conducive for that at this time with someone in particular. I'm going to clarify the temperance card to see maybe what's causing that energy to be like that. And it, it's definitely a benefit for you to take a look at that. You know, the card's in the upright, so it's positive still. It's just that I feel like you're trying to find peace and harmony within yourself and within a love relationship. And it, it's just a challenge to get to that point, maybe with someone in particular or just in general. Now, the strength card is here. So same kind of thing. You know, some of you could be dealing with a Leo, um, but the energy is still like not quite ready to get out there just yet, not for anything serious. Um, and in the case of someone that you are currently dealing with, not quite, again, not uh, the glue is not dried just yet in order to get to that place where you could have that fun and that love and that romance and all of that. You know, um, maybe some of you are just dealing with financial issues in the relationship or there's just something that's off between the two of you. Okay. Now what's driving you is the Knight of Wands here. So some of you, <laughs> you're ready to take action. You think you want to take action, but there's just this block. There's something, there's just this energy of like, things are not in balance just yet. You want to move forward. You know, if, if you ended a relationship, you want to just pounce at this point, the Knight of Wands can sometimes be a very sexual card. So you may be feeling the need to connect with someone sexually and physically, but the energy is like not quite there or, you, or you're meeting someone who is not quite balanced themselves and you're not sure, or, you know, um, you kind of just have to be careful with that. But yeah, you do want a connection, definitely, with the Two of Cups here. You do want to find someone who is on the same page as you, like that you mirror each other. And that drives you in your life right now. Of course, you've got work and you have other responsibilities, but I don't feel like you're comfortable feeling alone. But you're not going to just jump at anyone just for the sake of not feeling alone. At least I feel like that's what you're telling yourself right now. And maybe you are out meeting others, but no one seems to be on the same level as you. And that's what you're looking for. And, and in the case of someone that you are currently involved with, uh, just you want both of you to be on that same page again. But there's just, you know... April's not 
feeling the beginning of April. It's just not feeling like that's fully going to happen just yet. It's just not there yet. Now your thoughts, what's crowning you, you have justice. So I feel like for you, you're very altruistic and you're about doing the right thing. You, you, in your thought process, you want an answer to something. You want an answer to either something from the past or you want a verdict to come in about, you know, I, I feel like there's a sense of impatience because temperance is in the challenge position. You could be saying to yourself, you know, when am I going to meet someone or, you know, when am I going to find someone that's, that fits me, that kind of stuff, you know, and, and you, you want the truth. You want truth. Some of you could be praying, you know, please bring me someone that's good for me, that kind of stuff, you know, and here's temperance again, someone who's balanced, emotionally balanced. Because as you can see, she's making, uh, exchanging the water between the cups and waters about our emotions. So balanced emotionally and mentally, she has one foot on the rock and one foot in the water. Someone who's patient and kind and loving and is in harmony with you because temperance, that's, that's your card. So you're looking for someone who is like you or someone who's on that same page if you're single and in the relationship with the person you're dealing with, you are really just trying to get you both on that same page, having that even exchange and understanding. Now, what's coming up for you in the near future is the emperor. <laughs> So this is a card about structure and balance. Um, not so much balance, but definitely structure. Having a firm foundation. Um, the emperor can represent, you know, domination of the mind over the heart. So I do feel like you have these urges these emotional urges or feelings to connect with someone, but you're going, I feel like there's this energy where it's going to come into your mind that you need to be more cerebral in your decisions because you may have made decisions to connect with others based on these uh, urges sexual urges or, you know, physical urges. Maybe that's how relationships have started for you or the one that you're currently in. For those of you who are attached, the emperor comes at things like, you know, he's attracted to order, logic, and organization. So you may find yourself perhaps looking now at people, if you're single, uh, who are actually not, that you're not overly attracted to, but they do have that mental stability. And, and I'm not saying that that's what you should do, but I feel like that's the place you're in. Um, but I like to see you combining that, which is what tempers does having that balance. So you may be careful that you're not swaying from one side to the other, like a pendulum going from looking for something based on these primal urges versus looking for someone now based on strictly logic. You need to find a way to balance that. Okay. Um, find, uh, maybe not put anyone in a sort of a box in order to meet your needs. Um, Kind of like the energy has to be pretty fluid between both of you. There's give and take, you know, so but I do feel like you're going to get into this place in the near future where uh, you will have structure and order. Your emotions 
will be more structured and ordered, more organized. You'll, you'll understand logically what's happening with you emotionally. Some of you could also be meeting an Aries, could come into your life. Uh, some of you could have a Libra on your mind, another Sagittarius or Leo. Um, there could also be a Virgo. Okay. So for those of you who are single, uh, if you're female, there could be a, a male, an emperor coming forward. I don't feel, for those of you who are male, that this would be a female Aries. This is the emperor. And the other side to the emperor would be the empress. And the empress is not here. So for those of you who are males who are listening, I feel that's more your energy. Okay. Now, in the position of your advice, you have the hermit. This is telling you to take a pause in April uh, to reflect on what it is that you really need or want in a relationship, single or involved with someone. Look who showed up, the Empress. This is what you're looking for, okay? So if you're male, this is definitely what you're looking for, your other half the emperor and the empress go together. Someone who's like you, and I believe I said that up here. Someone who is on the same page of, of you as you. If you're female, um, this is you reflecting on um, remembering who you are, that you are this, the empress. You are a mother to be valued if you have children or if you are pregnant, um, that you are... I always see the Empress as someone who's just such high value. She's so feminine and she's so beautiful and she's kind and warm and loving. <clears throat> and so as a female, I feel it's really important for you to not forget that about yourself and take some time out. You may, I'm, I'm getting the message, you may need to maybe take some type of a beauty retreat or some type of a vacation which inspires you um, to get in touch with that part of yourself. Okay, spa treatments, getting your hair done, um, physical fitness, you know, healthier eating. <clears throat> And focusing on what makes you uh, uh, so radiant or getting yourself to that place if you haven't been feeling that way. Okay. So, you know, definitely, you know, if you're a mother and you have children or child or take care of children, make sure to take some time out for yourself to take care of you. Okay. And again, if you're a male, this is you reflecting on um, the type of person you, you would like to connect with. And if you are a male and you are in a relationship, I feel this is the person that, I feel this is maybe now how you need to start viewing them. Even if they do have uh, things going on or, or you're not feeling supported by them and you're impatient about that, you may need to uh, try to understand and bring it into harmony about what's happening with this particular person. I feel that message is for just a few of you, but um, for a few of the males here who are listening, but to definitely pay attention and, and to see the value in that person you are with. She may be going through something where she is not feeling emotionally balanced during this time. And to try to respect and honor where she is in her life at this time. So the position of the other person, the two of wands is here. So this person, uh, they see progress with you. They want to be partner to you. That's what the two of wands is all about, partnership. Well, the twos are about partnership. Um, and they're very much on fire for you. <laughs> okay. So I feel like, um, I don't see them going anywhere. 
Perhaps they're just dealing with things that are difficult right now. Perhaps if you're male, the woman that you're connected to is having a problem with children or child. Okay. Um, but I feel like the energy of this person, this is also about balance and they are seeking balance at this time as well, even though there may be, it may be difficult. Even if the relationship has gotten to be kind of stale or boring, uh, that energy could be playing out. But, you know, this person's looking for equality as well. And if you're looking for love, if you're single, um, there could be someone who's already in your life that's very good for you that maybe you have not noticed. So you may need to, as I was saying, look at someone who could be good for you, even though they may not be your perfect ideal of what you want. Pay attention to what's around you or who's around you and pay attention to your ideas about equality and balance. And, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. I feel like if someone's interested in you, give them a chance. It could be, if you're single, just what you're looking for from a particular person. You may not have given them consideration before. This person, I feel like, has kind of been hiding a little bit from you, perhaps there's a sense of uh, someone's, the, the other person's been in like retreat mode or just kind of, they might be a bit private. Uh, I'm trying to give you like information on perhaps who there could be someone in your circle that you didn't really consider for whatever reason. They may be a bit detached. And, and this is for those of you who are males. And if you're female, um, it could be this, this person here who can seem emotionally detached. It's just very much about structure and order. But I feel like this person is on the same page with you and they are interested. Now your hopes and fears, you've got the five of swords. So I feel like you're a bit fearful about any type of um, betrayal or harm or abuse or things like that. or opening yourself up to someone who um, could turn out to stab you in the back. I think there's a fear of that um, and, and a hope that that won't happen. But as I always say, with great love comes great risk. And, you know, you never know what people are going to do, but you can't live your life hiding, right? Your outcome card is the Nine of Swords and the Hanged Man. So there's a bit of anxiety here with this card towards the end of the month. Um, don't lose hope when it comes to love or a relationship that you're in, or if a relationship ended, don't allow yourself to get to this place where you become so mentally stressed out or anxious that you have to accept that that's your lot in life. Don't get yourself to that place. The hanged man always talks about seeing things from a, a unique perspective. So if you're hanging from a tree upside down, everything looks the same. Try to take a different approach. Try to take a different have a different view about your expectations and about love. You may have just been going along with the same patterns and the same ways. And is there a pattern that you need to look at in your life? Is there something on your side, on your end, that you need to maybe change up a little bit? Do you need to be more understanding? Do you need to be more patient or do you need to just be understanding and patient? Um, do you need to uh, 
um, be thoughtful? Um, do you need to be a bit more aggressive? Do you need to stand up for yourself more uh, or at all? Are there things that you need to do in your love life? Do you need to start putting yourself first? These are all questions. And these are things that might cause a little bit of anxiety for you. But if you're meeting someone, which you may meet someone in April, who could just be a little bit different if you're single, um, it's almost calling for you to say to yourself, you know, if I want this relationship to last or go forward, I may have to change up a few things. I may have to stand up for myself with certain things now, right? Or I may need to start being more thoughtful or understanding of, of people. So, you know, a little bit of uh, in, uh, up at night laying in bed trying to sort things out about how you're going to do that. Okay. So I don't feel like it's really, I don't feel like it's negative. It's just calling for you to make some changes in your life, in your love life, to direct the show, so to speak, to ask yourself, you know, what do I need to do here? How am I viewing my partner? Do I need to take a different view of my partner? As I was stating down here, you know, maybe they're not exactly Maybe they didn't turn out exactly how they were in the beginning, but does that make them any less valuable? No. Sometimes, too, people change. The longer you're together, people do change a little bit. And also, you get to know people better, you know? So you have questions to ask yourself. Your overall advice for love for April is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, this doesn't have to mean just religion. Uh, it can. It could be you and another person who have different religions, um, like very stark contrasting different beliefs. It could also be that you and that person grew up differently, have different environments, different social status, uh, different race. Um, it could be you're both the same gender, it, this could be an issue for you, some of you who are taking a look at, you know, maybe there's something, maybe you're finding out you're attracted to the same sex. There, so this card talks about, um, you know, sometimes there can be blocks to love that we put in our way. Even when I was saying finding someone who's different than you, kind of like being, if you're single, especially being more outside the box or viewing this person in a different way. It may just be that that's something that you need to do at this level um, now in your life. And also with the person that you're with, accepting that there are differences um, and asking yourself, you know, especially if you felt like someone wasn't being fully supportive of you, asking yourself, you know, is this okay? How do I do, how do I deal with this? What do I do? Do I let go of this person? Do I try to view it from a different point of view? So I, I really feel like you have a lot of questions to ask yourself um, about what you want to do with your love life during this time. But I feel like you will find structure and balance during this month. Again, for those of you who are looking for someone new, there could be someone coming in for females an Aries male, perhaps. Uh, and for those of you who are already in a relationship, there just could be this energy of having structure now starting to come through. Or someone provides that for you. The partner, your partner, maybe starts to show themselves now in this more reliable type of way. Okay, so Sagittarius, I hope that your reading made sense, and I do hope that you enjoyed it to some degree, and again, if you'd like to get a personal reading from me, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com, and I will be more than happy to get a reading out to you, or visit me at Instant Go uh, under Moon Pie Tarot. All the information, again, is in the description box below, and I will see you guys in May. All right, take care. Bye.